John Elliott is live for us this morning in Caldwell, New Jersey, down the block from his nice warm bed uh, as we ring in the last day of 2022. <laughs> Hi, John. So here's the deal, you know, on Saturdays we like to shop local and we are going to explore a brand new local business and body fitness and they have their New Year's resolution board. I like this. Mel wants to become a morning person. I thought this might have been Vince's uh, get bikini ready by March, but that's not Vince's uh, New Year's resolution. What kind of goals should you set though? And how can a trainer help? We're going to talk about that. But my goal right now is to get you safely on your way for what should be a fun party day. However, it is going to be a little bit murky and it's going to be wet. So let's talk about it. Show you what's going on in the city right now. Not much better. It's a little better than the last hour, but we are still dealing with some fog. Really nasty fog is settling in for Nassau and Suffolk and out in Warren County. We've got some bad reports there. So you have to factor in extra time. Drizzle, yes. Show you the radar in a second. 50 degrees. Yesterday. Today, man, oh, I hope you could get out. I hope you did get out and enjoy 61 degrees in Newburgh and Poughkeepsie. It was 65 in Belmar. So we turned that around. It was still 56 out on the island. In and around and close to town, a little cooler in White Plains and uh, JFK. Well, you know, that's interesting. JFK with that wind, it was 11 degrees cooler than the park, but 62 in Central Park late December? No. I tell you, it felt more like mid-April, even though spring is still 79 days away. Today, yeah, more in line, closer to where we should be, still above normal. Watch out for wet conditions. Let's talk about it right now. Visibility is a concern, also some moisture. Zooming in on Nassau and Suffolk, not only are you dealing with more in the way of fog, but you have some showers. It's ocean, then up into the island. Riverhead points east, you've already got the drops. Bigger view to the west, you're going to see yeah, it's going to take a while. Timestamp is on the top of the TV screen. You know how these graphics work. This is a computer model estimate of the timing of this. Into the afternoon, we see some showers filling in, and then you're going to see more widespread coverage later in the afternoon. Dinner plans tonight in the city. Leave a little extra time, and remember, little umbrella. However, you're going to have a lot of company in the city, but around the area for your evening activities, it's wet. Midnight, that magic moment. Um, yeah, some of the models are hinting at some heavy rain for parts of Bergen up into Westchester. City may get a break, may get a break right at that minute, but it's going to be wet up until that time. The good news is, boy, Sunday's going to be a big turnaround. It's going to be windy, but that wind is going to help to blow away the gray, and you're going to see some really nice skies. Uh, so now the numbers are back to a little over half an inch. If the heavy stuff sets up, that could be to the east. But just remember, so much traffic, so many folks out there. You want to make sure that you're safe. 54 today, seven day details. Just want to skip ahead and show you we've got more rain midweek, and that means that we're going to see, yeah, more rain because it's going to be so mild. 62, you're a high on Wednesday, and then it stays wet Thursday. 